Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this beautiful 3D flower. This one is an applique as you can see and also I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this flower into a square depending on the project that you are doing. You can use as an applique for a blanket, for a cardigan or you can actually make a granny square project and use this flower as part of your project as you can see so you don't have to use as an applique. So enjoy the video everyone and now let's begin with this tutorial. Look up to the moon, I'll meet you outside So for this project, I'm going to be using the Eg yarn by teslan.com and this one it's a number two yarn weight and I have here the pink, white, green and yellow and then I'm going to be using a three millimeters hook, a tapestry needle and a small pair of scissors. All of the materials that I'm using in today's video will be linked in the description below. We are first going to be creating this flower right here, so I'm going to be using white yellow and green and then for the next flower i'm going to be showing you with the pink so starting with the white so starting with a slip knot and then chain four so one two three and four we are going to be using the very first chain to create the round right in the middle of the flower so go ahead and into this very first chain, make sure that you grab two loops of this very first chain. And then into this chain, we are going to be starting with the double crochets. And in total, going around, we should have 16 stitches, counting the chain three at the beginning. So we are going to be having 15 double crochets and then 16 will be the chain three right at the beginning. So once you have the 16 stitches all the way around, we can now slip stitch into the chain three. So here we have the double crochet stitch. So it's not this one, it's the chain three right at the beginning. We can see the chain here. So right at the top, into the third chain, you are going to slip stitch and then chain one, cut off yarn and fasten off. So here we have the very first round now completed with the double crochets. So now you're going to be bringing the next shade you wanna use for the petals. I'm going to be doing yellow. I'm going to be doing a slip knot. So now you can go ahead and choose any stitch going around the very first round and attach this yarn in place. I'm going to be doing into this one right here. So choose a stitch, insert a hook, pull up a loop, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. So I like to attach my yarn like this. And then from here, I'm going to be chaining seven, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to then skip a stitch, the next one, and into the following stitch, you're going to be creating a double crochet. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip a stitch into the next double crochet. And then keep on repeating the same. Chaining five, skipping a stitch into the next double crochet. So repeat the same all the way around. So when you get at the end, you will see that you will have three stitches left. So you're just going to be chaining five, skipping a stitch into the next double crochet, and then chain five. So now you're going to be skipping the single crochet, the next chain one, 
and into the second chain we are going to be slip stitching both sides together like this so this is the base for us to create the twisted petals so to begin from where you left off you're going to be chaining three so one two three and then we are going to be working towards the left side of the flower so the right side is going to be facing you so into this very first chain five going around the chain we are going to be creating some double crochets and we are going to be doing nine double crochets in total right on top and into this chain five So once you have the nine double crochets, it's going to look like this. And then we are also going to be having the chain three. So here from this point to the last double crochet, we are going to be having 10 stitches. So now you want to grab the double crochet of the second round, this one. You're going to kind of fold it and we are going to be creating nine double crochets going around this double crochet And then here's the last one, so double crochet number nine. So in total from the beginning all the way to the end, we are going to be having 19 stitches. So now from here, you are going to be turning the project here on the reverse. So the double crochets will be on the reverse now. And you're just going to be finding the next chain five, which is right here. And then you're just going to be going around this chain five with your hook and then you're going to pull up a loop right at the beginning of the chain right right at the beginning make it nice and tight and then you're going to single crochet and that's going to be twisting the second part of the double crochets that you've created creating that twisted petal and then from here so now the flower is basically on the right side again. So from here, we are going to chain two and then into here, the same chain five that we did the single crochet, we are going to be doing nine double crochets. So we are going to be repeating again what we made into the previous one. All right, so here we have nine double crochets and then we are going to be grabbing the next double crochet kind of fold the flower in half it's a little bit easier to find and to use the double crochet as a stitch and then going around the double crochet we are going to be creating nine double crochets going around this double crochet all right so here we have double crochet number nine so we have now 18 double crochets in total and then we have the chain two right at the beginning so from here, you're going to be turning on the reverse, the double crochets, and then you're going to be finding the next chain five. Go around the chain five right at the beginning. You're going to pull up a loop, make it nice and tight, yarn over, pull through two. So attaching that with a single crochet right at the beginning of the chain five. And then you're going to chain two and you can now continue repeating the same steps. I'm going to be doing one more with you. So into this same chain five, you're going to be doing nine double crochets. So nine double crochets into the next double crochet into the second round. You're gonna go around the side of the double crochet going down and creating another nine double crochets into this double crochet. Once you have the 18 double crochets, 
you're going to be turning on the reverse of the double crochets and then into this chain five you're gonna go around the beginning of the chain five and then you're going to be just attaching with a single crochet into the chain and then from here we can carry on repeating the same steps as the previous petal so I'm going to continue all the way around creating my petals and then once I'm right here into the last one that we still have to do all the way down to here I will be back and then I'm going to show you how to finish it off. So when you get at the end, so I've finished here my previous petal and also I did the single crochet into the next chain five. So I have the chain five and the double crochet here to finish. So into the chain five, first you have to chain two and then create nine double crochets into the chain five. So here we have the nine double crochets and then you're going to be grabbing the last double crochet and then you're going to be creating the nine double crochets into this last double crochet. So once you finish with the next nine double crochets into the double crochet, you're going to be turning here on the reverse and you're going to be finding the very first nine double crochets, which is right here. And you're going to be attaching this so it's going to automatically fold when you bring it. It's going to fold it like that into its position. And then you're going to be finding the very first chain five, which is here at the bottom of the nine double crochets. You're just gonna go around the chain, you can see like this. And then you're going to make it nice and tight and single crochet. And then from here, we can chain one, cut off yarn and fasten off. So as soon as you finish, it's going to look something like this. All the petals will be really nice and this one at the end is going to have the gaps on both sides. So all you have to do is just to spread this last one around and the next one just like this. Kind of organizing the petals in place. We have now the petals all done. It looks super cute. If you want, if you want an, an applique, for example, you can leave exactly like this and attach into the project that you are doing that you need some 3D flowers. Now, if you want to add some leaves like this one, we are going to be doing a round at the bottom of two rounds and then we are going to be adding the leaves going around. So you want to bring the yarn that it's at the front towards the back so we can do the weave in. So take it to the back, turn here on the reverse and you want to do the weave-ins of these before we move on into the next step because then they will not be on the way and it's going to be a lot easier when doing the back of the flower. So once we've done the weave-in, we can now move on into the next step. Leave here at the back and bring again the yellow yarn, the same shade as the petal. Also this round that we create right at the beginning, it helps to cover the little gaps that we have into the petals. So with the yellow, create a slip knot. Go ahead and find any stitch that it's by itself in which is in between the petals. So there is one here. So go into that stitch. You can fold the petals like this if you want. Choose any stitch. And then you're going to be attaching with a single crochet. Focus, there we go single crochet and then you're going to chain two and double crochet into that same stitch. And now we are gonna go into the next stitch where the petal is. You can see this one. Into that stitch, we are going to be doing two double crochets. Now into the next stitch available, which is free, go into that one and create two double crochets into the next one where the petal is, right there, here, go ahead and create two double crochets and that's all we are going to be doing all the way around. So we are going to be doing two double crochets 
into every stitch around the one that it's by itself and the one that it's with the petal and for this round we should have 32 stitches going around so i got here at the end and i have the last stitch in which is with the petal and this one is going to be stitch number 31 and then 32. So 32 stitches all the way around and then here into the other side right at the top of the chain two go ahead and slip stitch the two sides together and now we have at the back of the flower round number two completed. So now for the next round we are going to be chaining three and then we are going to be creating a double crochet into that same stitch into the same stitch where we did the slip stitch and then we have the second stitch here so remember that stitch into the same stitch double crochet and then into the next one one double crochet the following one two double crochets into the same stitch and then the next one one double crochet only so keep on repeating the same steps all the way around. So double crochet increase into one stitch and then one double crochet into the following one all the way around. And for this round, you should have 48 stitches going around. When you get at the end, you will have only one stitch. So it's going to be one double crochet only into that stitch. And then you're going to be connecting to the other side into the chain three with a slip stitch and now we can chain one cut off yarn and fasten off and bring the next shade in which is green i'm going to also weave these two yarns in so that i don't have to do this at the end so once the weaving is completed the flower is going to look like this and because we've created the round the flower is going to stick out a little bit just like this in which is super super cute for this one we are going to be folding the the petals and working on the right side of the flower so that it's here on the right side and we are not working here on the reverse so just fold the petal and find any stitch around the circle so i'm going to be doing into this one you can do into any stitch and attach with a single crochet so now you're going to be doing one single crochet into the next two stitches. So this very first single crochet is going to be counting as one single crochet. So right here we have three single crochets. And then now we are going to be starting with the leaves. First, I'm going to be chaining six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six into the next stitch. I'm going to be doing a slip stitch and then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fold chain into the next stitch, slip stitch, and then chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then now into the next four stitches, one single crochet. So we are going to be having the leaf and four single crochets, leaf and four single crochets. From the fourth one, we can start the leaf again, following the same step. So the first one is going to be chaining six and then slip stitching into the next stitch and then from here you're going to be chaining eight and then into the next stitch slip stitch now you're going to be chaining six and then into the next stitch we are going to be doing a single crochet and then one single crochet into the next three stitches. So this is what we are going to be repeating. 
leaf and four single crochets, leaf and four single crochets. So go ahead now and repeat the same steps going around and then I'm going to meet you right at the end. So once you get at the end, you should have three stitches left. So into the next two, we are going to be doing the leaf. So chain six, slip stitch into the next one. Chain eight, slip stitch into the next one. Chain six and single crochet into the last stitch. And now all we have to do is to slip stitch into the very first single crochet to join both sides together. And then we can chain one, cut off yarn and weave in both these two yarns that we have at the end. So once we have finished the weave-ins of the two ends that we had here at the back, we are now done with the leaves and now the flower is also completed. This is how it looks like. Super cute and I have another one. So this is how you make as an applique. So it's super easy for you to attach. You can just use the second round of the flower and sew in place into any project you want. Now, if you want this flower as a square, I'm going to be sharing with you right now. But this time I made the flower with this beautiful salmon pink shade right here. Look at this. With the pink, it looks incredible. Imagine them all colorful into a project that would look amazing. So what you're going to be doing is doing the flower exactly as you did for the yellow as I showed you already here at the back. So we have the first round in which is the white and then you're going to be doing the second for this one. And then into the third round onwards, it's where we are going to be doing the squares. So now the third round, we are going to be starting with the square. So we start with a chain of three and two double crochets into that same stitch where you did the slip stitch. And remember that this stitch here, that it's, it's kind of weird looking. This one is the next stitch, all right? So into that same stitch where you did the slip stitch, we are going to be doing two double crochets, one and two. So we are counting the chain three at the beginning as a stitch so that here we have three stitches. And then I'm going to chain two. So I'm going to be doing a corner right into this very first stitch. Into that same stitch, I'm going to be doing three double crochets. So here now we have the first corner completed. So now we are going to chain one and then we are going to be skipping three stitches. Remember that this one that I showed it to you before, now it's hidden because we've added the corner. This one here is counting as the second stitch. So skip one, two, three. Into the next stitch, we are going to be doing three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Chain one, skip the next three stitches. So one, two, three, into the next one. We are going to be doing another corner. So it's going to be three double crochets, a chain of two and three double crochets, all into the same stitch. So three double crochets, chain two, and now three double crochets. From now on, it's going to be easier to find the stitches. It's just the very first one that it's going to be hidden. So now chain one, skip the next three. So one, two, three, and then three double crochets into the next stitch. So one, two, three. Chain one. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, into the next, you create a corner. So three double crochets, a chain of two and three double crochets, all into the same stitch. There we go. So now we have three corners completed. You can see 
you're going to be repeating the same all the way around. So we are going to be skipping three, three double crochets into the next one, skipping three, corner into the next stitch, skipping three, and three double crochets into the next stitch. Once I'm right here at the end, I will be back and then we can finish the third round together. Here at the end, you should finish exactly with three stitches following the same numbers of stitches in between every space. So it should work perfectly. So do make sure that you count your stitches around. So now to finish it off, we are going to chain one and then slip stitch into the chain three right at the beginning. So now here we have the very first round of the square completed. And now from here, you can just follow a granny square pattern until you reach the sizing of the square you need. I'm going to show you just one more round so that you know how to grow your square, but it's basically following the same steps all over until you have the sizing that you want. If you don't know how to do a granny square, I'm going to be linking a tutorial here in a little eye, also in the description. So feel free to check it out. So to move from one round to the next, you're going to be chaining three, and then you're going to be turning the project because I want this last round to be on the right side. And then into this very first chain one space, we are going to be doing two double crochets. Also by turning your square, like I did, it maintains the corner really nice and sharp and square as well. So I really like this way. And then we are going to chain one and then three double crochets into the next chain one space. Chain one and then into the chain two space in which is the middle of the corner, you are going to be doing another corner. So three double crochets, a chain of two and three double crochets. So corner completed, chain one, and then into the next chain one space, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets into the next chain one space, and just keep on repeating the same steps, basically. So you're going to chain one now, corner on top of corner, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, corner, and then just repeat the same all the way around. And then once I'm here at the end, I will be back and then I'll show you how to finish it off. So once you've completed the last corner, so I've done the granny square pattern all the way around, you are going to chain one and then slip stitch into the chain three right at the beginning. And then from here, you would repeat the same step if you wanna grow your granny square. So chain three, turn and carry on with a granny square pattern all around. I'm going to finish right here. So this is going to be my last round. So I'm going to chain one, cut off yarn, fasten off, and then I'm going to weave in these two yarns and then I'll be back to show you how this one looks. So this is how the flower looks like once you have this square around. Of course that it would look better if you have a different shade underneath, but I just wanted to show you how that looked and how to make with the granny square around. Maybe if you do with the white or green around, then the flower will stand out a little bit more. I do like this way as well because the flower is 3D, so you can actually see the flower and the square at the back if you wanna do with the same shade too, that's completely fine. So the flower, it's sticking out as you can see, it looks super cute and here is the back. So we have the granny square around the circle. And this is super useful if you want to do a cardigan, a top, that you want to use squares and you want to add a little something to it, like something 3D and this flower looks amazing. So I'm pretty sure that you can make amazing stuff with this. Also, if you want to do a blanket with squares, with granny squares, and then you can add some flowers as well. This is amazing. So here we have the square now completed and also 
we have the flower and this is how you make both of them i really really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video don't forget if you end up making one of these to tag me on instagram if you take any pictures at brunetcality so that i can see your creation and your and your take on this one also the shades you're going to be using and also let me know in the comments what you thought of today's tutorial and this beautiful flower that i've came up with i love this so so much i cannot wait to do something with this flower let me know in the comments what i should be doing using these flowers because i would love to create something with these granny squares here or maybe this flower as an applique into something <laughs> so let me know what i should make using this amazing flower so thank you everyone for sticking out until the end i really hope you have enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. So enjoy your week, happy crochet, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.